Hey, orange one here. So, I'm gonna stay quiet while this cutscene goes. But I'll see you soon. Look at that church. I don't think that was an accident, do you? What hit us there? Is it like a log or like part of the the track maybe? Pretty cool cutscene, I'm not gonna lie. Scott, your friend, but I can see you're torn not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. Gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later. So she just covered for us, didn't she? She said to her friends that there was nothing there and she saved our life. Did we just pet that deer? Deer are really vicious by the way. Like there was a... Uh, this one lady did like so stupid like she she put her like infant on a deer. Like and the deer killed the, the infant but it's just like why would you do that you know like these are wild animals I know they're herbivores but they're they got those horns for a reason. They're pretty territorial, you know? Yeah, we got the Helsing. Oh man, you have no idea how long I've been waiting to get the Helsing. Or is it Helsinki? Whatever it is. This crossbow. I've been waiting for a long time. I think I spent quite a while trying to loot these houses, um, mostly because I wasn't really familiar with this area.
And you know what's funny is that this is actually um, the location of the uh, benchmark for the game. And it kind of slows down a little bit. And I did notice while I was in the Taiga, or Taiga, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. While I was in here, I did notice some drops in frames in some areas. Pretty significant, too. And I was cautious, cautiously optimistic at, um, about this game because it's been running so well on my computer. But my computer is, it needs an upgrade in the CPU. I've still got an i5 and it's, you can definitely tell in this area that it can't handle all the things that it's trying to keep track of. A lot of creepy dolls. <laughs> Good old spooky sounds, huh? I think I was trying to follow my compass there. I was just getting confused. That's a pretty cool, I like that when they do that in like movies or whatever, a little note on the, on a bolt. So we're in hostile territory. At least it's pretty, you know. You can kind of hear like some people in the distance, so I was trying to listen out, I think. Oh yeah, you can see there's a dog right there. I don't think we've got a lot of ammo though right now. I think we only have the one bolt. But you can see, like, we're dropping frames in this area. Struggling a little bit. I'm pretty sure we didn't shoot that thing in the, in the neck, but whatever. It's a pretty cool animation. It doesn't always do that. It, it's just like to introduce the idea that you can get your bolts back. <clears throat> no point in untying that dude. <laughs> Another guy was like screaming, right? So he's alive, I think. I didn't see, I didn't notice anything giving us like a little like notification like, hey, thank you for doing that, you know? This area is very linear, by the way. There's like a couple different paths you can take, but this is much more like the old Metro games, where it's like, nope, you're going this way. And I mean, even in the old Metro games, there's usually a couple paths you could take through an area, but it was like, no, you're, we want to go get you to go through this one point and see this one thing, and it's very much so like that here. We don't have a good scope, so that's why I'm using the binoculars, is just trying to see ahead a little bit. And I don't know where we're putting our, um, our metal scraps and chemicals, because we don't have our backpack on us. We can't actually even pull that out right now. Like, I think I was trying to press I earlier, and because we, we don't have the backpack, we can't craft, we can't mod, we can't do anything. I know I could have gone back a little bit, but... I was curious. 
This looks like an important place, you know? I can't read Russian, which bums me out because I see things like that on the uh, statues. I'm like, what does it mean? You know? <laughs> Drives me a little bit crazy. But this is obviously some sort of school. This whole chapter was weird for me. I actually recorded all of it on the first day of uh, spring break. And it's just like super weird as someone who works in a school like who works with kids seeing um this uh like this whole school and the culture of it and it's just bizarre you know i don't know you probably got that too and in games when you see places it's like i work at a place like that Oh gosh, what are those called? Um, the Chinese like calculator things. I used to have one of those in my classroom. There's this whole cabinet of cool things that I had. And then I changed rooms. And this one lady came into my old room. And I, I totally respect her and think she's a great teacher. But she got rid of all this stuff. And I was like, oh my god, there's so much cool stuff in there. Maybe I'm just a hoarder. But like she got rid of that. And like she got rid of like these like pig embryos and chicken embryos. It's like, oh, that hurts. Don't just throw that away. Avast! Stop right there! Avast! Take another step and we run our rig on you. Aye! Another step and you die! <laughs> yeah, so beat it, you scallywag! If you know what's good for your ground-loving ass, even one of you drifters we caught today is too much! Aye! Be a good doggy and get lost! <laughs> the pirates. You gotta love that they, they try and speak like pirates. I wonder what in Russian what they say instead of scallywag. That really is very appropriate. The developers of this game are like Eastern European, right? So like, there's probably a lot of them that speak English as well as, some, as Russian. So they probably write the dialogue in both languages pretty well. I was always upset myself about... I, I mean, I, I'm glad I took Japanese, but I was like, God, oh, I... I never speak Japanese, you know? But then again, I would never really speak Russian. I don't play enough Counter-Strike to need it. You know, a lot of times in games when they take away your weapons, a lot of people don't like it. But I tend to like that when they restrict you like that, where it's like, nope, you've built all this up. We're going to make you go back to square one and figure out how to work with that. It's been two months already. Nobody came for the kids. Viking and Tusha aren't coming back either. The dam workers told they'd give them the lift to the city, but I should have used my authority to stop them from trying. But back then, I still harbored hopes for evacuation, too. Vain hopes, as I understand now, for what evacuation could we expect if there's only static on air? 
Oh man, I just watched the Hassan Minaj episode on Indian elections and that just reminded me of like, India comes first. It's totally unrelated, but... You gotta hand it to them. In this game, they sure know how to make an area look gross. Some algae filled, like, pool. And mushrooms growing out of the toilet. I mean, they do that in Fallout all the time, but. It just looks like, man, I'm gonna get what Anna's got. You know? It's like walking in here. I and mean, we do have the gas mask on, but still. I learned my lesson last time. So we got our night vision now. Which is good. I mean, I don't really use it that much in this episode. Personally, I like the look of the game without it. So I would, uh... I wouldn't really use use it that often, just because I like seeing the colors and whatnot. It's just such a pretty game. I feel like, Oops, sorry about that. Look, I've been thinking about asking all this time. All this pirate stuff, the corpses on the post. Do you guys really think the teacher wanted this? The teacher wanted us to defend ourselves. Well, none of this stuff helps. The bandits have been seen in the village again. Plus, our guys caught a drifter today. This just means they need us to remind them the lesson. That's why we're here. We'll catch a couple and make some fresh scarecrows. Well, bandits, I do understand. They did terrible things here. But this new drifter doesn't look like a bandit. Perhaps he was just passing by. If he is not a bandit, he should have just passed us by, but no, he crawled out of the river here. I say make a scarecrow out of him and keep the others away. I don't know about this, really. I'm not sure which one's which. Which one's the, uh, the pirate, which one's the pioneer. It's kind of weird that we know, like, pirate, pioneer, like, hearing from, like... Just listening to them talk, we know who's who. And they probably, their garb, like how they dress, is probably different enough. But I haven't been able to figure it out. Or at least when I was going through it in the, in the video. Sorry, I missed a little dialogue that's going on over there because I know there's have an op missed opportunity if we don't go here. Yeah, sure. Try this on someone stupid. You kicked that ball into the river, so now you have to make one. It's been two weeks already. Come on, I'm making it. There's just a bit of soil left. Adjustment, we could kick this one around for now. It's round and all. Look! <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. You're the total champ. It's so Get back to sewing, It's so weird because they must be like in their twenties, like similar age to Artyom, but they sound honestly like high schoolers, you know? Like they're not very mature for their age. Oh, there was a pistol up there. How did I miss that? That there was a pistol that just dropped when I uh undid that trap. I feel like the children of the forest have like uh, different stuff on their head than the pirates. Maybe different jackets, I'm not sure. I think that dude up top on the spot, us, I'm not sure.
We probably could have hit him with the crossbow. Um, you can kill the pirates. But you can't kill the pioneers. I didn't know that at the time of this recording, so I was just trying to get through this area without killing anyone. And it's also hard to know who are the pirates, who are the pioneers. And these people did say that they would uh, kill us if, or fire at us if we were on their turf. I mean, as far as I know, these people are innocent. I think someone might have seen us in the corner of their eye. Yeah, I think someone was investigating that fire that we just put out. They always do this in this game where there's like someone standing there and it's like you feel like the person's gonna see you, but they don't. It's like just waiting for them to turn around, you know? There's that locker. Yeah. There was actually a box on the lower shelf there. I just totally missed it. Mushroom season spring? No, mushroom season's like in fall. There's someone to our right, but I don't think I realized that. I think someone to our right. <laughs> so someone's noticed us at this point. I mean, say what you will, but Metro is a fun stealth game. It's it's simplistic, but it's fun. Look at that moon. Okay, here's something that drives me crazy. Like, they're calling us, and we don't even say anything. It's like one of those things that I've seen people complain about in this game where it's like, wait, what? These people are trying to contact you, and you're just like staying quiet. They think you might be dead. So it said 147 signatures, so there's about 150 of these uh, these people out here. Or there used to be, at least. I don't know how we slid over that without getting cut by those, like, rebarb. Okay, yeah, here's where you're starting to see the frame rates drop. This bear, my computer does not like at all. Like, most of the time I'm getting at least 30 frames, 40 frames to 50. But when that bear comes in, it drops. It drops like 20. It drops to when you can definitely see it, you know? 
look at all those dogs. I didn't really know how the dogs work at this point, so I was a little bit more cautious than I probably would be now, knowing kind of how they work. And all we have is a crossbow, you know? I mean, it's a really, really powerful crossbow. It's like a one-hit kill. But there was, gosh, eight? Ten of them? I would say at least eight of them. See this? This is... They get so close to us. And then they just turn and run around. And one dog down. <laughs> there is something down there in that little valley, but I don't think I checked it out. No, I didn't. I wanted to get in this treehouse. It seems like the perfect spot to put a bed in. That one has stopped. Got this area. It's so cool. And it's really taxing on the comp my computer, but it's beautiful. And I love the noises. There's like elk, there's dogs or wolves. Pretty sure they're wolves. There's that uh, bear. You know, there's so many cool creatures that you can just hear. And it's not like ambient sounds in a lot of games. It's like, no, those are actual creatures. It's kind of sketch having that fire just like on these wooden on the on the floor like you know it's not even in a fireplace or anything it's just like on the floor It looked like to me when I, I grabbed that uh, those parts off that Helsing that it was like the uh, machine gun attachment, or not machine gun attachment, but it lets you shoot off multiple rounds without um, having to pull the string back. But it wasn't. I don't think you have to take this cave. There's like a uh, more open path, I believe, to the right, but they do a pretty good job of making it clear the like stealthy paths that you can take. You drifter! I thought we'd fed all of you to the wolves already. You fucking rapists and murderers but you just keep on coming well i'm not going to beg you for my life teacher i'm coming to face the final exam i'm ready i wasn't a coward i defended my friends while i could is so you holster your gun going to torture me do your worst i'm not afraid my friends will avenge me 
You'll be hung from a post by your own guts! Enough of this charade. I know what you all are. Monsters! I won't ever believe a single one of you! Teacher, I'm ready. I didn't bully the girls, and... I killed intruders because they would come here, invade our territory to murder and rape. And now I'm ready for the final exam. I have no regrets. You've probably figured out a lot about these guys just from this one dude and what he said. I'm not going to spoil it. I'll just let it like unfold naturally, but I like it. But it's so weird, like I said earlier, as an actual teacher looking at these people and how they kind of worship this former teacher of theirs. Okay, I do use night vision a little bit in this episode. Mostly just keep an eye out for snakes. That's kind of what I was thinking at this point is, you know, we're going to step on a snake if we're not careful. But I mean, just look at how, like, the game just looks worse. Like, this has, like, so many cool colors and the moon rippling on the water. You don't get that with night vision. But I'm hearing snakes, so I'm getting a little bit worried. What are those crates even full of? Oop. It's mighty convenient how ripping off one of their legs just kills them instantly. Like I know a lot of crustaceans in reality, if you rip off a leg, they can survive just fine. They're just kind of compartmentalized like that. I mean, it's a video game, right? So, we gotta do stuff like that. Give you a nice cool cutscene. So we know that the shrimp are here. We've seen wolves, but we haven't really seen any other mutants. I do want to like get give you guys a chance to just hear the game, you know, like the, with those wolves as they run past you. God, it is honestly super spooky. And we have a campfire on our map from that area, but I didn't. I don't know. Is that it's different than the safe house? It's like. Can we save there? How does that work? There's a do uh, wolf that we can see right there. We could shoot it if we... If we wanted to. And we could shoot it from this far, but... A little far away, I feel like we'd miss that shot. 
more times than hit. I hit it from there though. I didn't know how powerful a crossbow was at this point, but I think if you just hit them at all, it would die. And here's the pack. Yeah, my CPU does not like when the pack runs past you, as you can notice. Conveniently placed. I think we're in pirate territory if we're seeing that. It's always funny to me how video games have caves and tunnels like this and they're like super common because like if you've ever been in the wilderness a cave like this is pretty darn rare So bite me. Oh yeah? Well, why did you set the trap on our turf then? Uh, besides, you already have an intruder's backpack. I dived for the backpack and you chickened out. Oh, I chickened out? You're pirates! You have more boats! And this one will face the forest court. Bojumoy, you're all cowards. He's an intruder, an enemy. What are you, a bandit? What did the teacher say? He said we must be different. Did you uh, forget? Isn't your head getting a bit too big? The teacher said we have to defend ourselves first. All the rest was later. Did you forget what the intruders would do here? He's an intruder too, so he must die. Uh oh. The the hey guys. Yeah. Yeah, it's the bear. So this is basically the game's way of saying, use Molotovs against this enemy, they really don't like it. So we'll just free ourselves. And we're good. Nice little cutscene done. And I was trying to loot this guy, but it didn't let me. I think that I'm just about out of time. So thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.